land and keep storm to break. Hello. Hello. Brazil. Can you hear me? Yes. Should I? Maybe I yeah, should I hear you? Can, can you? Can you I hear can. Me or not? Is it okay? Ah, great. Yeah, yeah, that is. Is it good I, I for was me? Without the, yeah, no, perfect. I was without this, and people were, were not listening to, to me. That's why you I can was. get one like this. It's perfect. Oh yeah, uh, I guess that's great. But, uh, but I don't know. This one is better to uh, the the public transport and and that stuff. You know, mm -hmm. so I can use it like at home and when I am going to to work and that stuff. I have at least five of them over there, back there, hanging. Nice. But I used to use them, but now I like them better. But your point is mm -hmm. also valid, public transport. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, but I, I get it. I, I know. I, I can understand uh, why they like this one. Uh, like why? This. Tell me why I like them. Yeah, no, I, I can understand why. Like, uh, for example, I guess uh, it's better to, to watch movies and, and that stuff with it. Actually, I purchased them particularly for conversations. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, like, you use this chatroulette for, for longer or not? Yeah, two years at least. Near three years. No, that's my the the first uh, first time the first time I uh, yeah ask me all the questions you have oh wow well, uh, I'd like to know how is it because I like used uh, some random chats in Brazil specifically for Brazilian users and we can find a lot of like predators in it oh. so. How is it in, in, in here? It's like the same thing or it's a little bit better? Have you ever used Omega? No. No, never. never. I know it, but I have never used it. So some people used to come naked on Omega. But on chat roulet, you don't see such people. Okay. That's I have only better. seen one of them on chat roulet in my two years of chat roulet experience. Pretty much better, but people like talking uh, things that they, they shouldn't, and that stuff I, I guess is pretty common mm -hmm. or not. People, yeah, people like to interact like me. If you, you can read my bio, it says over there conversation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, let me see. Conversation, yeah. you can also like edit your bio like later. Or maybe now you can I, so mm -hmm. so what's your purpose have... okay what's... conversation as well because like i can't speak english uh, my english is not the the best english oh. all, but i have it spanish portuguese of course i am striving to learn french and romanian as well so it's conversation Mm -hmm. to, to practice of course if i find someone uh, a portuguese speaker for example no problem but i don't know trying to to have a nice should i tell you a secret language. go ahead should i tell you can i trust you yes, last ahead. time i told somebody the secret and they uh, okay so you can <clears throat> you can choose the country okay if you only want to talk with indians you can choose india no, great. I, I found out that. No, it's not a problem because, like, I, I guess mostly, uh, I, I think most people that are in here speak English. Mm -hmm. And I have no problem, like, uh, speaking to, talking to people that don't have English or any other of my target language as, like, their, their mother tongue and, and that stuff. It's not a problem. So, mm. Actually, like, the, the thing is for mm -hmm. me to practice. So, it's no. Not a, a big deal. Yeah, you want to practice your English? English, Spanish, French, what? Romanian. What? Wow. Why? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Like, like it? I started 
uh, learning Spanish when I was 10, because mm -hmm. here in Brazil, we have, uh, if you are studying in public schools, mm -hmm. you can learn uh, languages on Saturdays, for example, mm -hmm. for free in another public schools, not necessarily your school. Well, that's nice. So I started learning Spanish for free. After that, I started learning Romanian like by myself because here in Brazil, we don't have any Romanian teachers or that stuff because, well, I guess uh, it's uh, pretty hard to, to find anywhere a Romanian teacher because uh, Romanian is spoken in Romania, Moldova, and I guess in some small part of Greece. So people don't usually go like, oh my God, I want to learn Romanian, but I, I think it's beautiful. Have you heard this name called Cambly? Let me see. Cambly. Yeah. Is like a a school online school, right or not? It's um, an app. It's an app. So if you are interested in learning Romanian or any language, and you can also uh, pay like money because this app charges a lot of money. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's why uh, Chatterlet is Chatterlet or Omegle best for okay. learning a language okay. cost free okay, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to, to take a look because I, I use Duolingo like the, the free Duolingo. yeah yeah I have Duolingo in my phone great and I watch like uh, videos on YouTube mm -hmm. uh, usually they don't have like Romanian to Portuguese courses in YouTube but they have Romanian to English so mm -hmm. uh, there is a, a channel called uh, Learn Romanian with Nico, for example. I like it very much. I learned a lot uh, mm -hmm. in there. And I, I am learning as, as much as I can. Like mm -hmm. I have Disney Plus, for example, and they have the, the movies in Romanian and with subtitles in Romanian. So it's a, a nice way to learn as well. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, great. So, but are you learning English? just for fun or there is any other reason just for fun like just for fun. i yeah i am in process of diagnosing my autism for example and my psychologist uh, has this theory that they are my how can i say my hyper focus so uh, when i start doing something that i really like i can't stop thinking about it and i go for it uh, the best way that i can so this is my hyper focus since I was 10 or, or even before that. So yeah, it's not easier for me to learn, uh, not at all, but I, I can't stop thinking about it. So every time that I, I have a moment, I am looking for videos uh, of my target languages and stuff like that. So it's for fun because I like it. I feel fine doing so. So currently you are at your house, right? Yeah. Yeah, but when you are in public, can you hear all the people, like uh, if a lot of sound, a lot of noise from people? I, I know what you uh, you are saying. Like, it's hard for me to be in uh, environments with uh, a lot of sounds, loud sounds. Even here at my house, because uh, like the neighbors are quite loud. Sometimes I can't even sleep. Uh, so you can have an idea. Uh, my Mm -hmm. My fiance, he sometimes wear, um, oh my God, how is the, the word for that? Uh, socks, he wears socks when he is sleeping. Mm -hmm. I don't usually, I, I, I don't sleep with socks. I don't, I don't know why. But when he, he does like this with his feet and he mm -hmm. is wearing these socks, this sound is enough for me to being unable to sleep. I am like, oh. Leo, uh, please, please don't do that. I, I can't sleep. It's too loud for me. I can't. So. Okay. You can buy these things called earplugs. Okay. Right. Max earplugs. Best. I'm not selling Max. I mean. <laughs> no, but, no, I get it. I get it. But I, I purchased a full box of these things. Really effective, really effective. Max earplugs. The thing for me, I'm sorry, what's your name? I Tripto. didn't even ask. I also didn't ask you. Tripto. My name is Julia. Julian. 
In, in Portuguese, it's Julia. 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 Okay. That's it. Does it have a meaning? And any meaning? No, no. Like Julia is a a name from originally Hebrew or something. Mm -hmm. And in Hebrew, I guess it is like uh, full of youth or something. Full of youth. Youth, yeah. Youth. Like youthful. And yeah, yeah, that's it. And your name is Trip, Trip, Tripto. Tripto, yeah, yeah. Tripto. 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 Does it have a, a meaning? Tripto. Yeah. Americans call it Tripto, but you are. You were first calling it Tripto, but then you corrected yourself and you called me Tripto. Tripto. So, second time. You got it right. Second time. Tripto means satisfied or fulfilled. Like, when you are very satisfied, you are tript, you are Tripto. Or fulfilled, you are Tripto. And it is in... In... Uh... Mm -hmm. I, I all I, I'm it's sorry. Bengali name. Uh, I, I always confuse it. Ben, Bengali name. Bengal. It's not a Hindi the language name. from from it's Bengal. From West Bengal. West Bengal is a state in India. Okay. Nice. And India has twenty nine states. So Bengal. Yeah. Oh, nice. And it's a huge, huge country. Like in mm -hmm. Brazil, we don't we only speak like Portuguese, but I guess it's one of the I I, I don't know I, mm -hmm. I I can't say that, but some huge countries have a lot of different languages in it. Like in, in Brazil, it's not like that. But huh? we have twenty two languages in India. Twenty two. Nice. It's too right. many languages, too difficult for people. Like if I go from North India to South India, I can only communicate with them with English because I don't know their language called Tamil, Telugu or Kannad. I don't know. So English is the way of communication from one state to another state. And my English is nice. Much... So do you have states in Brazil or provinces or yeah. province? <clears throat> yeah, we have 20... 27. I guess 27 states in Brazil. States. Like I live in Sao Paulo. Yeah, states. Uh -huh. okay. I live in Sao Paulo. I am from Rio, another state. And I visited, uh, let me see, Sao Paulo, Rio, uh, Espírito Santo, Minas Gerais, Bahia, uh, Santa Catarina, uh, Paraíba, Paraíba, não, Paraíba já falei. I have already said, uh, and Pernambuco. So I visited already seven states from Brazil, seven mm -hmm. from these 27. Mm -hmm. Actually, I have, <clears throat> I have only visited one state in India, like West Bengal, definitely. And another state, which is next to West Bengal, called Odisha. Okay. So, Odisha. Odisha. Very Odisha. famous. India, the whole there is a very famous Jagannath temple. 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 Very famous. Most famous temple in India. Nice. Well, I actually I know quite little about India. That's a, a, a nice question. I, I was was thinking like, in India, what do you usually learn about Brazil? Because here in Brazil, we like learn so little about India. Like we mostly know about like the the time when uh, British people went went there, uh, if, I, if I can say it like like that. And we have this soap opera that is like the Indian path. I can translate like that. It is a soap opera like from ten years ago or so, and people were a little bit more interested about India by this time but I guess that's it what we usually have about like information about mm -hmm. India if we don't go and look for it so what do I know about Brazil or what do Indians know about Brazil yeah what do Indians in general know about Brazil like in school you know mm -hmm. usually uh, learn something about it mm -hmm. or not and, and that's yeah it. so 
so i have previously i had a lot of interactions with brazilian people okay so they have told me a lot of things about brazil but generally indians know these two things about brazil okay like brazil has the biggest river in the world amazon and the biggest That's rainforest in the world which is also amazon so amazon mm -hmm. river and amazon rainforest am i right what yeah, is the yeah, what definitely. is the the biggest river is called amazon right the river is called amazon yeah. mm -hmm. and the rainforest is also amazon nice and i, I live quite far away from uh, amazon and amazon for, forest like uh, we have some small pieces of amazon native forest in sao paulo rio and that stuff but the most of it is in another states like Acre, Paraná, uh, Mato Grosso, uh, Amazonia itself. So mm -hmm. uh, I have never never been there. Uh, okay. We usually like we don't r receive that much of information from these states because mm -hmm. um, usually actually they are really we can say poor states so they don't receive a lot from uh, help from the the government and that stuff and like for example we, we have this kind of intern joke that in Acre, that is a, a, one of the, the states we say that there can be even uh, dinosaurs for example mm -hmm. because we don't know what is in there so if someone goes missing for example we say that they went to Acre. I am sure that there are a lot of species or like different species of trees or different animal species that are un undiscovered and they live in the Amazon. No, so that's, that's have you fair. have you watched this American movie called Anaconda? Like uh, maybe it came yeah. out in the first Anaconda. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did yeah. you watch it? Yes. Yes. Here in Brazil, like we have uh this tv channel that is global and in there they like put some movies on the the afternoon every afternoon they they put put on some some movie and anaconda is like very quite known in brazil because they put anaconda like twice or thrice a, a year and everybody watch it so i'm talking about oldest one like it came out in the 1990s so yeah 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 okay yeah. actually that was my favorite movie okay when i was a child that was my favorite. nowadays i don't have a favorite movie but because i love the other movies too but that used to be my favorite mm -hmm. movie and i love it a lot the visuals yeah. are awesome like, it looks like real anaconda anaconda 2 anaconda yeah. 3. anaconda 3 they are also out but that doesn't look so real yeah, I get it. Like the, the, the CGI is not that, yeah. that good. It's funny how some older movies uh, have better CGI than the some like the newest one. More budget. Yeah, more budget and I guess they, they made it with more care. Like the, mm. they really wanted to do something real and that stuff. And today, no, they just want to turn money. So the, the CGI is not good, no problem. Yeah, most of the recent movies are done mostly by C like Avengers Endgame. I think you have watched it. More than 50% yeah. of the movie is CGI. Yeah. For sure. You will not believe I, how much CGI they have used in Avengers Endgame. You can uh, you can do this quick search on YouTube. Okay. Like whenever you get time that behind the scene, behind the scenes, Avengers Endgame mm -hmm. behind the scenes. You will see there are they are using so, you will see, so much of green screen, bullish screen. Yep. No, I guess I've seen this video. It's like the, the actors fighting with no one, for example, mm -hmm. and even the, the weapons are, are not real and that stuff. So I, I've seen, I've seen it, so, some of it. I, I like Game of Thrones, for example, and they use a lot of CGI as well. And this behind the scenes is quite alike, this one. In, Avengers Endgame in some scenes. Mm -hmm. So you have never been outside of Brazil? 
Oh, so I, I have been to to Paraguay. What's that? What call? Paraguay. 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 Okay. Paraguay. And I went to to London when mm -hmm. I was 15 because mm -hmm. I have two two cousins living in there. Mm -hmm. uh, both are Brazilian ones. Uh, one of them is married to a a guy from I uh, what is the country? He is from Slovakia. Oh, okay. Slovakia. East. And they both live in, in England. Slovakia, East European country. Slovakia. Yeah. Eastern. It's quite a small one. Well, I have met some people from Slovakia. Yeah, and he's such a, a nice guy. So they went to England to like to work and they got their their work visas. And they have been in there for like 50 years or so. So uh, I think so, they are not going coming back to Brazil anymore. So you have visited Paraguay and London, these two, like yeah. England, Paraguay and England. England, yeah, okay. specifically ha London because I didn't like mm -hmm. went to another places. Have you ever what thought of you? coming to India? Thought? Uh, actually, I. Actually, I, I have, because I know India has, like, well, the, there are some stuff that uh, here in Brazil, we, we kind of watch about it. We think it is kind of different. Like, for example, the street food. We watch <laughs> some videos of street food from <laughs> India, from Pakistan as well. But I, I think it's interesting, because uh, I know that some people has this, have this, like, this thought that, uh, if you are like eating with your hands or making the food with your hands, you are like closest to, to the food. I think it's interesting. I, I kind of mm. like it. So it's different. Um, uh, as India is quite big, for example, I guess Bollywood is mm -hmm. going to be a, a nice place to, to visit and quite different as well. Um, I know that the Taj Mahal, for example, is quite, quite uh, quite mm -hmm. pretty as well. Very old. So there, That's yeah, yeah. Uh, oldest palace. If I'm not wrong, it's the oldest thing in India. Maybe they are like oldest. Palace. So there is a channel over there called Carl Rock. Okay. Right. So he is from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. He currently lives in India, and he and he exposes Indian scammers. There are a lot of scammers in India. Uh, yeah, so no, I know about them. You must watch his channel before you come to India. Okay, mm -hmm. you will know. Uh, here in Brazil, same mm -hmm. thing. Uh, these games are uh, quite different. I, I must give you that. But I, I've seen some videos, not from Car Rock. I'm going to, mm -hmm. to take a look. But I've seen some videos, even about Pakistan as well. Uh, I, I guess I, I like to watch some things from Pakistan as well and Istanbul because. I, I love cats and they have, I don't know how is it in India, but in Istanbul, they have a lot of street cats, but mm -hmm. these street cats are well fed, for example, well fed, mm -hmm. because like if you are selling food or something, or even if eating your own food, if you see a cat, you have this culture of giving it a, a little bit of it. So I think it's quite nice, nice actually. Mm -hmm. I love cats. Sometimes I, I eat something, bit. okay, on the, like on the street, sometimes. Sometimes, like, I would go out and I would buy something like bread paneer. Okay. Recently, this happened. I was eating bread paneer and I, like, a, a dog was, not a, a dog was there. Okay. And was there, like, swagging its tail. Mm -hmm. I knew it wants the food. So, I broke a little bit and treat bit, you can say. Treat bit, treat bit. Like, I did, yeah. uh, there are, over there, a few books are there. So, have you heard this name called Famous Five? No? No. No. no never. Okay. So, there are five. Okay, let me tell you. Very interesting. My favorite book series. Five children. No, sorry. Four children. Uh, Dick, Julian, George, Annie. And the fifth one is a dog called Timothy. Okay. So, Timothy gets teat beats or treat beats. Like, after... When the boys or the girls are done eating something, like uh, the dog gets something, that's called treat. Very good. If you want to, I think you are a very good English reader. 
but those books are great no nice. send me the the name in the the chat so i can oh, take a look the at famous it. five it's called by enid blyton have you heard the name no no i, I guess i didn't mm-hmm. actually yeah i also didn't know about this but it's actually very famous so that's uh, nice like, indian students no, go, go ahead. indian students okay in their schools read from this enid blyton or used to read from this enid blyton great okay, i'm going to take a look maybe, maybe i heard about him or uh, another hard, hard. book maybe hard. hard female author her oh, oh nice what's the name again enid blyton the famous five nice nice british nice so no i, I guess I, i really never never heard about her but uh, you will uh, my mother finished all the 21 or 22 books famous five and nice. i have read one of the one or maybe two of the books <laughs> but great books whenever i get time i read them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yeah, i usually read like science science fiction mm-hmm. sci-fi horror as horror. well i i write as well uh, horror. some horror short stories oh, yeah okay like i enjoy it like let me see well the last book i i read was about this actress but it's not fiction it's a true story about this actress that it was in i carly mm-hmm. the tv show i don't mm-hmm. know if you know it and she was talking about her mother because mm-hmm. the name of the book is i am glad that my mother died so it's it's quite heavy Ooh. yeah because her her mother was a narcissist okay and she was she said uh, on the book about how she uh, didn't want to become an actress but uh-huh. her mother uh, did uh-huh. so she forced her into the this world of acting and like she took really long to realize that her mother was a narcissist because her mother died from cancer and she went to to therapy after that and the therapist was like well, how was your mother when you were uh, a child and she talked a little bit about how her mother used to put her on strict diets for example like very strict diets uh, so she wouldn't like grow grow up so mm-hmm. if you don't eat that much uh like the, that much calories that you need in a day and you are still a child uh your body is not going to de- develop uh, in a mm-hmm. good way mm-hmm. you are going to to be like with a childish appearance mm-hmm. so she told this about uh, about this to to her therapist and the therapist was like well this was child abuse and she was no this was my mother my mother loved me she was not abusing me so she took uh, quite a long time to realize it and there were uh, another stuff as well quite heavy stuff but it was a, a very interesting book actually what's the name by the way huh? name Sorry? name of the book The name is I am glad I'm going to to mm-hmm. to write where's the the chat Let's yeah chat, that. chat thing over there Mhm I am my that the author is I am glad that gender. my mother died Oh I am definitely my mother is exactly opposite of her mother okay is the author Janet McCurdy. Okay. Where is she from? The author? I she's from the states. Okay. American writer. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh-huh. Interesting. It's quite heavy. So, what's I, up I with your life? What are you doing like uh, are you in college? I don't know your age. So, I'm 25. Oh. I am a yes. psychologist. You are a psychologist. Well. Okay? Yeah. Are you practicing? And I work Well, uh, a bit. I have like two patients, um, but I work uh, mostly on HR 
you know, for a company. Health resources. So I have these two two patients uh, outside this mm-hmm. this this company. Uh, I like have the, this psychological sessions with them. But uh, what I actually do for a living is working on HR, like hiring people from. Oh, hi. For I, hiring, hiring for call center. Call center, you know? no? Oh, call center. Oh, I understand. Yeah. So you hire yeah, people like, who work in the call center. Yeah, to work for for the, the customer call service. Another to serve the customers. Yeah, customer service. Customers. Okay. But, what is the tattoo? This tattoo. Yeah. What does it say? Yes. You It's you bisk. You bisk is the you word to love in Romanian. Oh, okay. You bisk. Romanian. <coughs> yeah. Like yo yo bisk. It is I love. Okay. Yo yo bisk. I think I think it's beautiful. I also have it, a tattoo. Like a, <laughs> you do? I have a tattoo. What is it? it? It's a camera. I like photography. Nice. And uh, did you? uh like have any graduation as well or not uh, i have a par- partial graduation okay mm-hmm. because i dropped after one year because i don't think i need that for what i do what do you do editing video editing nice like for youtube or... yeah for a youtuber nice nice that's nice, nice. Like in Brazil, people make a lot of money editing videos mm-hmm. for YouTubers mm-hmm. because we have some pretty famous YouTubers. They are famous here, here in Brazil, mostly. But like, I don't know, don't know how, don't know why, but they, they make a lot of money. So mm-hmm. people who are editing, editing the, the videos like make a lot of money. You have so. to edit in At a less- way. Okay, this is the secret of video editing. Okay, I'm going to tell you. You have to edit in a way so that people don't know that the video is edited. It should be nice. flow. And mm-hmm. it should not it should not it should be with the content. It should be make should be making the like if I have to edit this uh, l- let's say if I have to edit a conversation, I have to edit it in a way so that the editing improves the conversation. Adds value mm-hmm. to the conversation, not taking away value from the con- engaging, not distracting. This is the people ask me what's your tips, what are your tips for editing? So very simple, but you have to follow. Yeah, yeah, and, and it is like when we are talking about movies, for example, it's pretty impressive when you, you are watching a scene and it doesn't seem that like it has a cut, for example. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you're like, Oh my god, how how did this guy or this girl manage to like decorate this uh, and and talk this through this whole scene without any cuts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So sometimes they, they can do it uh, without any cutting, mm-hmm. but sometimes the cut is so, how can I say? Um, it's so, I know. Yeah. Um, A lot of yeah, cuts. Well, well you, you don't realize it's here. Background music. And it Sometimes yeah. people would add sad music, happy music, so that like if if we like let's say if somebody has to edit this conversation, like let's mm-hmm. say you are talking about that um, uh, I am glad that my mother died, like there uh, like a horror something music will work over mm-hmm. there. You are talking that you are talking about something uh, beautiful happened with your life, happy music. So this background music is very important. It is. It is. Like, uh, have you ever seen the movie The Exorcist? Yeah, I have seen. 2005? When did it come out? Do you remember? I guess it's 73. 1973. 22. Yeah. I think I have watched it. it. I think I have watched it. 2005. There was another movie which came out in 2005. Yeah. They, they, it has like four uh, sequels or something, but the first one is the the best one. I have watched it. The girl walk walks like that, right? Comes down. Yes, the girl. Yeah, the, the girl, girl. Uh, comes down from the stairs. Yeah, that's it. How often and do? How like often? People... 
husband. How often do you watch horror movies? Every time I can. Every day. I really enjoy it. Do you watch it? No, every time I can. Sometimes I sometimes I can't because of like work uh -huh. and uh, courses and that stuff. But every every time that I have time, I watch it. G give me a rough idea. Once in a week. Once in a. What's that? For example, I am in vacation. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have been in vacation for like 20 days or so. Okay. I'm going to okay. come back to work on next Friday, I guess. Okay. So as I am in vacation, I am watching two horror movies or three a day. Oh, like, okay. Oh, non-stop. Every day I am watching at least two. Sometimes like, three, even four. Can I tell you something? Go ahead. I don't know about you, but in my case, when I watch horror movies, I think it really disturbs my mind. You know, people are yeah, like so much yeah, blood. Yeah. People are like chopping and like hands off. Like people eating other people. So, <laughs> so recently, I watched these three horror movies. I don't know if you know the names or not. Tell me if you know. Butchers rest in pieces. Then. No. Devil's Diary. I guess I've I've heard about it, but I have never watched it. And the third movie is Bone Snatchers. No, the, the the name like rings a bell, but I have never watched any of these three. So these movies are like how do you like Disney Plus the, over there? You watch movies? Well, I usually download them. Okay. I, I have some uh -huh. uh, streamings as well, but uh, I usually do, do download them. Pirated uh, because I like pirated websites. Huh? Pirated websites. Oh well, I I, I, will, I will not confirm nor deny this. Okay. <laughs> this, this information because I usually like, for example, French horror movies as mm -hmm. well. I guess uh, they know quite uh, a lot about how uh, making people feel uncomfortable youtube okay there are a lot of good horror movies available on youtube for free you don't have to download it if you want to watch okay yeah no i, I found some pretty nice horror movies on youtube as well and some trash horror movies as well because i i like it like trash horror movies from the 80s I, I blair witch like project have you so, watched it blair witch project the blair witch project the, the Blair Witch Pro Project, yes. Yeah. I watched the, the first one. It's the, the best one. And the, the second one. one that is uh, yeah. pretty, Sequel. pretty nasty. But, but yeah, it's not good. And there is the third one, but I have never watched it. Oh. So the first one is great. Oh my God. I did not know about this uh, movie, but a British girl first told me about this movie. It feels so real like, because somebody is carrying a camera. Okay. It, I feel I, I was feeling like I am carrying the camera or I am there myself yeah. because I like mm -hmm. photography so that's another reason so that's why yeah, I like yeah, the, 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 first person horror movies more like first person movies like game games found Same. footages for, for example found footage movies I, I like them more did you ever heard about wreck wreck w r e c k yeah no, but R. Let me see. R. Let me see. Oh, this yeah, 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 yeah. I have watched it. Rank one, two, three. Very nice. How many? Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. I, I guess. I guess they they are three or, or four. I mm -hmm. have only watched the the first one. I I Pretty think nice. I, I have also watched only the first thing, but these days I really don't watch horror movies. <laughs> No, 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 no problem. But if you can like handle they, them, they, you can watch. If you can handle, you can watch. But I am not. I am not that strong to. I cannot take it. You know. No, I, I get it. Like I don't watch it for the violence. I watch it for the plot, the story. Mm -hmm. uh, but as they are horror movies, sometimes they have a lot of blood and mm -hmm. gore and that stuff. But usually, I enjoy the story, and they're are some horror movies that um, are not quite scary that i enjoy pretty much for mm -hmm. example uh nightmare on elm street you know 
Freddy Krueger. I have heard. No, the, the, the monster. Like, he is more of a, a joker than a horror uh, like eat. character. I do eat. I, I like it. I like it. The clown. Pennywise the clown. Yeah. No, people are afraid like of it. the clowns. Yeah, no, I have never been afraid of clowns. So it, you are no. not afraid of clowns, even after watching it? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I watched the, the 90s uh, version and the, the new ones mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. I like it pretty much. And the, the actor that made the, the new one, he is going to be Nosferatu this year. They are going to make a remake of Nosferatu. Have you ever heard about it? The, the vampire? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. They're Not sure. sure. But let's take a look. Nosferatu. Nosferatu. It's the vampire that has, okay. like, his fangs are the, the front teeth. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, it's quite quite unique. Yeah, it's not the canines. It's the, uh -huh. the front ones that are... Oh, it's weird. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Okay, yeah. Pretty, pretty nice. Like, the, the first movie is from the 20s. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and the second, it's like a remake is from the, the 70s. Uh -huh. And now they are going to make another one. Great. So, what's the most huh? horrific movie? If you if you, if I have to die watching a horror movie, what's the movie? Well, I, I don't know. That that depends depends mm. of what scares you most. Mm -hmm. For example, I think yeah. Hairraiser is quite scary. Hairraiser, Hairraiser, Hairraiser. So it's hell. How? Hell razor. Hell, like from from hell, like how? heaven and hell. Oh, hell, oh, Hellraiser. Hellraiser. They have pins. Hell, like he's pins. raised from hell. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pins That's on it. the... That's I did him. not understand the plot of the movie. And I, I watched it. I didn't find it very scary. Well, that, that's why I said that depends. Uh -huh. Like, yeah. I watch plenty of horror movies. Some of them people say, ah, you, you are going to be scared of this one. But I, usually I am not. But, for example, if you are afraid of something that can be real, mm -hmm. I would recommend a Serbian movie. It's like that. A Serbian movie. It's quite Ser Serbian. Serbian. Okay, Serbian. I understand. The Serbian movie. So, is that a Serbian movie? movie? That's the name of a movie? Yeah, made it. yeah and it is from Serbia okay. as well. Okay. And it is about an actor. An mm -hmm. actor. He was a, a porn act, uh, actor, actually, ex-porn mm -hmm. actor. He has a son. He has a wife. His wife knows that he used to be a, an actor. And he receives, like, a proposal to make another movie. And he's going to earn a lot uh, with this. And, like, he is retired already. But his wife is like, is like well, uh, I know you used to do this kind of movies. And we could use this money. So if you think it's interesting, you can do it. So he goes on and tries to understand what is this movie about and why he is going to earn so much with it. And let's say that in the movie, people are going to die for real. Not him, but another people. So... Mm -hmm. He starts to understand about it and he doesn't like it. And the film is pretty gory and violent. Mm -hmm. So I just recommend it if you really are uh, in the mood to, to get scary and be like, oh my God, no. These things could be happening in real life. For example, Hellraiser. If you don't believe in the, the mythology of the movie, you maybe not be that scared because that's not going to happen in real life. Mm -hmm. But everything that happens in a Serbian movie could be happening sometime, like somewhere in real life. So I guess it can be scarier because of that, maybe. Great, but uh, but it's th this movie also take a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this one, I guess, is almost two hours long or something. Yeah. So I recently, I told you, I recently watched these three movies. I, I, I told you the names too. 
and i i mm-hmm. i did i could not complete my editing i could not complete editing so that mm-hmm. yeah, because so, you were watching the movie yeah i got late i i slept late i slept almost 5 in the morning i was on my bed mm-hmm. okay i was using my phone to watch the movie yeah i get it and and uh, and especially okay how do you watch the movies do you watch them on your uh, television on your computer phone usually on the computer or my phone i don't have a television so, like i moved in this house like uh-huh. uh, recently so uh-huh. i don't have a tv yet yeah yeah so that's the thing and do you watch them like before you go to bed like any particular time when you watch them when i am on vacation like uh, right now i watch them i watch them on the, the afternoon but not before bed if i watch anything before bed mm-hmm. i am not going to be able to sleep i guess because of the lights mm-hmm. or something so right before going to bed i usually read a book like a mm-hmm. physical book mm-hmm. understand so I, i can be like sleepy so i i watched the movies before bed okay three movies three horror movies in a row i watched them and i, I fell asleep because i was really sleepy but mm-hmm. after i woke up i was feeling really anxious after i woke up mm-hmm. when i opened my eyes i was feeling anxious i was not able to get up from my bed i was feeling really scared so it's and recently i researched on this like i like did some questions to go ask questions on google and they are also saying mm-hmm. the same thing you feel anxious like you don't get good sleeps if you watch horror movies before bed so that's why we should never watch horror movies before bed well i think that that depends because for example i don't feel anxious when i am watching a horror movies horror movie uh if i am watching like a a drama movie or something it's going to be the same so if you are used to it i guess it's going oh, to be yeah. like the same but if you are not used to it, to it i guess that's it you're going to feel kind of anxious you're going to be thinking about the movie pretty much so maybe your sleep your sleep quality is not going to be the best so i, I get it i have I, that's true. i actually have watched a lot of movies i don't know how many movies i have watched in my life but i have watched a lot of movies okay because i really like 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 learning english so when i first mm-hmm. seriously started learning english then i used to watch these movies on my tablet okay over there you can see my tablet there is mm-hmm. i used to like yeah. uh, there is this uh, there is an application which i'll also not name okay uh, so for free movies you can watch what they are nice so are you going to say the name or you can't say the name it's better if i don't say it's mm-hmm. ttv no, by no the problem. way i can say it's ttv ttv let me type the name t t okay free movies okay. available over there nice have you ever watched the the new spider verse uh, movie spider man and spider verse spider verse uh, no no because they they have i remember right now they have the the indian uh spider-man in there okay. i i used it's to watch i don't remember movies, because... but nowadays i don't really have the time for the movies i have to edit now i get it so whenever i have free time it's better for me if i use chat rabbit rather than movies you know you get to see okay. the real person it's better than movie okay But sometimes I do watch okay. YouTube videos. I do watch yeah, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. I guess I watch mostly like YouTube videos than than movies. Cuz uh, uh I am on vacation but when I am not I don't have time to watch a full movie and I don't like to watch like partially like mm-hmm. I have today and I have tomorrow. I don't like it. I like I to watch it like fully. Suspense. They they create the suspense in us. So we feel uh, kind of we feel hungry until we finish the movie yeah so mm mm-hmm. yeah that, that, so, that's me so what questions do you ask like different topic what questions do you ask when uh, a pay like if i am your patient okay 
and if i visit mm-hmm. your clinic what questions would you ask okay. me well that depends because for example if you are going to to go to the clinic uh, it's not quite a clinic because here in brazil after the pandemic we have a lot of freedom to do the sessions online for mm-hmm. example so before the pandemic like we have this council the psychology council that are, are we have it in every in every state so mm-hmm. i have the uh the card from the council from sao paulo that is the, the state mm-hmm. i currently live in but the thing is that mostly uh psychologists are uh doing the sessions online nowadays mm-hmm. but let's say it is a uh presential one mm-hmm. i'm going to try to understand what's your demand so why are you looking for uh therapy if You're i say, say i'm going to say let's say nowadays it's better but i i used to feel uh, like public speak like in how to be comfortable in front of let's say a thousand people if there are a thousand people mm-hmm. in front of how to how to speak con- comfortably in front of them with a mic and mm-hmm. okay so the first thing about therapy is that psychologists uh, they they don't give counsels for example so i'm not going to be like whoa okay you need a counsel uh for how to deal with uh a public speech for example i'm not going to do so i'm going to go like further like okay when you were a child for example uh did you have the, this this discomfort or it started when you were an adult mm-hmm. like can you remember that and i'm going to investigate a little bit like deeper within you because if i only say ah you can like imagine that everyone in the crowd is naked like it's mm-hmm, quite mm-hmm. a cliche mm-hmm. like okay it could work or or it could not because like uh this counsel is quite as i said cliche so one thing that may work for you may not work to another person so mm-hmm. i need to know a little bit further about you and about your demand to say anything so unfortunately i'm not i'm not able to be like well you need this advice i'm going to be give you this advice and that's it mm. i need to understand a little bit more you you get it mm-hmm. so yeah i have heard this before that imagine everybody is naked um, but it's mm-hmm. uh, then yeah it f- makes me feel comfortable mhm yeah Great. For, for me for example it doesn't work it doesn't work. what what works for me mm-hmm. uh, when i am talking about uh, a public speech mm-hmm. i uh, it works to find someone in the cl- in the mm-hmm. crowd anyone mm-hmm. someone i don't know no problem and pretend i am only speaking mm-hmm. to that person to mm-hmm. that one person because if i have to talk to one uh, strange person it's not a problem mm-hmm. three different people like it's okay but not that good mm-hmm. five whoa it's getting worse mm-hmm. and a crowd whoa 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 that that's hard yeah. so if i pretend i'm talking to one people in the crowd it makes easier oh. but it's just for me it oh. may not work for you mm-hmm. for example actually actually i have tried this also and it works like and there are so- sometimes there are like 10 people okay chat rowlets 10 people there is it. and so <laughs> some i i get a li- i feel a little nervous then i i fo- uh, focus all my attention towards the one person so yeah it works mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, target the individual not the group yeah yeah that's it but uh, like for every person like the tactics going to be different there's mm-hmm. no way yeah. uh, for example there here in brazil we have this plague <laughs> Okay. There are the 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 coaches mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like the the life coaches uh the I don't know uh, day by day coaches mm-hmm. people that are not psychologists they don't have even any courses about mm-hmm. it but they say that they are coaches life coaches and they can help you to like make your life better if you listen to their advices and they mm-hmm. charge so much oh. like to these people 
and like they they don't even know what they are talking about and they are giving advice not not giving if the advices were given it was okay but they charge too much about it and like the problem with these life coaches is that they give advices without knowing in depth the the, the person like uh, knowing mm -hmm. deeply about the person and as i said one thing that can um, work for you may not be working to another person mm -hmm. so if they give you advice they charge for it and it doesn't work you're going to be like whoa but i i paid mm -hmm. so much for it so yeah. the problem must be me must be within me mm -hmm. and the person is going to be more depressed oh, than yeah. she was or he was before so you said one strategy is imagine that everybody nobody is wearing clothes imagine that okay could be another strategy uh, attack the individual or target the individual focus on the individual okay. any other strategy well that depends for example uh, do you feel comfortable talking with like three people or more or no like it's okay for you to talk to one person or it is already like bad what the fuck yeah waiting for answer what happened no answer try again later <laughs>